If you do 75 hard for one full year of your life, it will change you to the point where you can flip that switch back on and off at will. The biggest mistake I see when it comes to 75 hard is how people speak about it when they're first starting. And I can tell from most people's mindset in the very beginning, whether or not they'll finish the program or not. There's the person who says, you know, I'm gonna try 75 hard. Then you got the other person that says, hey, I don't give a fuck if the world ends, I'm finishing those 75 days. Only one of those people finishes the 75 days. Most of these people self-sabotage themselves without ever knowing it every single day of their lives. And it's with the language they use when they approach an obstacle. When they approach an obstacle or they approach something hard, they tell themselves a story as if being brave enough to take on the challenge is some sort of win. This is to reprogram your level of discipline so that later, not just now, later and in any point in time in the future, when you need discipline, you can make the decision that I need discipline today and this needs to get done. And then those things get done because the reason most people don't ever get anywhere in life it has nothing to do with oppression. It has nothing to do with fucking all the shit the media tells us. The reason most people don't get anywhere in life is because they tell themselves before they even start whatever it is they're about to start that they're probably not going to win and that giving it a good try is a fucking victory.